Five years since Kilauea erupted, appending the lives of families all along Hawaii Island's Leilani Estates. This week, we'll see all that's changed in the years since. But first, our Dylan and Cheta looks back at the timeline of events that led up to the first Fisher's opening. May 3rd, 2018 was the day everything changed in Leilani Estates. Lava exploded to the surface from dramatic fissures hissing and spewing molten rock. But the warning signs were there and scientists were tracking changes weeks before. April 17th, 2018, the early signs emerge as USGS scientists notice increased magma pressure beneath Pu'u'o'o. That would lead to a rise in the crater floor. By April 26, lava at the summit overflowed onto the Halema'uma'u Basin. In the days that followed, scientists would witness crater floor collapses and an ebb of lava as it diverted back underground. Then on May 3rd, Madame Pele shows herself in Leilani Estates. The eruption began about four this afternoon, spouting with little warning. The first fissure opened in Leilani Estates, sending lava shooting to the surface. Ikaika Marzo quickly became a leading voice in the community. Yeah, after that, we started to go to door to door, to door try to get people evacuated out of here. Residents, already on high alert, begin to flee their homes along the Lower East Rift zones, understanding the power of nature at work. Some begin paying respects to volcano goddess Pelehonua Mea. She's going to do what she's doing. She's cleaning house. She's just making right. She's doing what she needs to do for the community. People have been getting sick. We're in the rift zone. We've known the possibilities of her coming. While thousands of tiny earthquakes are reported during the months-long eruption, the strongest shook the island at 12.32 p.m. on May 4th. It was a magnitude 6.9. Between May 3rd and May 6th alone, 10 fissures would crack open in the Lower East Rift Zone. In total, that number would grow to 24. As the eruption raged on, more than 700 homes were damaged or destroyed. Through the hardships, the Aloha spirit shined through as Pu'uhonua Opuna was set up as an information and assistance hub for displaced residents. <laughs> By early August, the eruption came to an end and alert levels were dropped. The landscape forever changed and lives permanently altered. This is, we're stewards, this is her land and we are thankful for her and when she needs to do what she needs to do and make way, make new land and make right, then we just follow suit with her. Dylan Anchetta, Hawaii News Now. We'll be bringing you special coverage throughout the week of the five-year anniversary of Kilauea's eruption. Casey Lunn will join us live from Hawaii Island starting tomorrow on Sunrise.